Hey guys, Mike the Reluctant Gardener here on one heck of a project. This is what I've got for hops from last year's not very successful attempt at growing them. Um, it's a Fuggle, it's growing back. This one here is a Cascade, that's growing back too. And then I've had these fellas outside the last couple of weeks hardening up uh, that I bought from Great Lakes Hops. The, uh, as you can see they came a bit bigger and they're doing a lot better than what was already in the ground. But they need something to climb up when I plant them. I should have done this a couple of months ago but you know how things get. So yesterday the task was felling these two trees here. Uh, stripping them off and dragging them out of the backwoods. It took quite a long time because they are damn heavy. So Amy here was a big help playing as second draft horse pulling these things out and I've just got one hole dug. I've got to do the other one in a minute but we've got three and a half feet deep hole right there which should be enough. We have about 18 feet of tree sticking out of the ground in a minute. And the next job is taking the bark off of these before I put them in the hole. Um, I have a look around. Somebody said that you should reshape an old hoe. I don't have a spare old hoe. But I do have a dandelion and uh, deep rooted weed weeder. And this seems to do the trick just as well. Just get it under the bark. Try and get a good wedge. And you just slide it up. Of course, now I'm on camera, I'm not getting such a good stripe, but slide it up, and that's going to take me a few minutes, but I'll get the bark off of these, and we should be ready to try and drop it into the hole. So we're going to have two posts, about 18 feet high by the time it's all done, 24 feet apart. Um, we'll come back and show you how the wiring gets done and the rope in and hopefully I'll have a nice little hop yard by the end of it. Okay, so we're on the second hole here. And uh, the other one was mostly sand and this one unfortunately is mostly clay so it's kind of hard going. And this is the part that Amy thinks is really funny. <laughs> Uh, we break the clay up so that the pot post hole digger can dig it out like a earth mover. <laughs> this is some bloody compacted clay, I tell you. How deep are we supposed to be going? Four and a half? Three and a half feet. Three and a half. Oh, Lord. So, got a little bit better at this from doing the whole of the other tree. And it's coming a little bit easier this time. So, I'm not going to lie, that hole was an absolute beast. But we got it done three and a half feet. Now I've got to strip this. Then we got to drag them over there so I can char them up with the flamethrower. Yay, flamethrower! More of that in a bit. We've tagged out here, Amy's taking over on that so that I can get a head start with the flamethrower on the other one. How are you finding it? Fine. Cool. Not bad. This is the good part of the job. <laughs> Interesting fact, this is how the Romans preserved the elm piles that were in the original, original London Bridge. They charred them before they buried them and they lasted something like 1600 years. Oh, I've gone out. So, we're going to see how long we can make these last by doing it. Well, this is the end of a long but productive day. So, here's what we've got to finish up with. Both trees have been cut to size, um, turns out we're going to have 17 feet above ground, not 18, which is a bummer, but never mind. 
Uh, one is completely charred, the other is completely stripped. So there'll be another one in when I get uh, the next chance, showing you how we do the next stage to get the hop poles up and functioning for growing hops. So that's all for right now. Have yourselves a great evening.